So we have another problem where we have to drag our icon and figure out which one of the following shapes is not a rhombus. In order to do that, I need to think back to what actually is a rhombus. So let's look. The characteristics of a rhombus. Hmm. I know it's going to be a closed shape with four straight lines. Because remember, a rhombus, a rhombus is a type of quadrilateral, meaning it has four straight lines. So let's see. Do all of our shapes have four straight lines? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They do. Now, some of you guys said these lines are curved. They're slanted, but they're still straight. A curved line would be like this, or around, circular, or like that. So these are all straight lines. Let's see what else does a shape need in order to be considered a rhombus. Let's see, it says both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. We know that a rhombus is a type of a parallelogram, meaning that both sides are parallel to one another. It's not a type of trapezoid where only one side has to be parallel. Both sides are parallel. So let's take a look at our shapes. Are they parallel? This first one, the top and the bottom, are parallel lines. And our sides are also parallel lines. Let's take a look at this one over here. If I extend the bottom and the top line, they are parallel. They'll never cross each other or meet. Same with my two sides, okay? Additionally, over here, it looks like this shape was this one, just turned sideways, but they're all parallel lines, it looks like. And last one over here, it's a little bit smaller, but I can still see that if this top line and this bottom line were extended, they would never cross each other, so I know that they're parallel. Same with these two side ones. Okay, so they all met the first classification and the second classification. So let's look at this third one. So for rectangles, we knew that opposite, not opposite, that, oh yeah, opposite sides were equal in length. However, for rhombuses, they're a little bit more special than rectangles. Instead of having opposite sides, it's all sides are equal in length, which means the top side, the bottom side, the right, the left, all of them are the same length. So let's check to see if that's true for these shapes. Now I'm gonna have to eyeball it. I know I don't have a measuring tool on me. I know it's hard to look online, but looking at all of these three shapes, I would say that yeah, this shape looks like all of the lines are equal. This shape here looks all of the lines are equal. Remember, this shape to me looks like they just took this shape and turned it on its point. This side looks equal to me. It's just a square that got pushed sideways a little bit. So you can imagine this square and it gets pushed a little sideways. But on this one, I definitely see that the top and the bottom are equal, and the two sides are equal, but overall, not every side is equal in length. So this is not a rhombus. And then it says the last qualification, just to make sure opposite angles are equal in measure. Rectangles have to be 90 degrees. For a rhombus, they just need to be equal on the opposite side. So for these two, yes, the angles are looking like they're gonna be 90 degrees, they're opposite and equal. So let's take a look at this one. In order for it to be a rhombus, it has all these qualifications plus this angle right here has to match this angle right here. And it looks like they do. Again, I can't measure it right now, but giving it a good look, it does. And this angle, looks like it matches its opposite angle over there. So I would say yes, these are all rhombuses. This one, 
is not. So what in the world is it? We know that it's not a rhombus because not all sides are equal. So what could it possibly be? Because I need to figure out what I would classify it as. So let's review what we know about it. We know that it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. We know that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. And we know that opposite sides match in length. To me, that sounds an awful lot like a rectangle. However, this cannot be a rectangle because my angles are not 90 degrees. So what is it? Again, can't be a rectangle, can't be a rhombus. I'm looking back through my notes to check. Not a rectangle, because it's not 90 degrees. Hmm. Let's go back to our other characteristics and see. I know it's not a trapezoid because it has two sets, not one set. But look here. Both opposite sides are parallel. Check. I have four sides. Check. All angles add up to 360. That's true. Opposite angles are equal in length and degree. Guys, I think we found it. Our shape is a parallelogram. Oops, wrong side. Our shape is a parallelogram. So I know this is a parallelogram. In order for it to be a rhombus, it would need to have equal sides. Classifications are tricky, so remember, just go back to your checklist and go through the characteristics in order to be sure.